about that. He backs Blake, escapes. Oh, that's brilliant! Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the old Golden Black YouTube channel. And this is another update on the Wolves. I'm Tom Rouse, and let's get straight into it. Um, it's been on the Express and Style website today as what as to what has Nuno been doing since he joined the club a few months ago, a few weeks ago now. It turns out that he's been on holiday, relaxing. Um, we've been talking to the Express and Star today, ready for the players who are coming back in on Monday, and he's been talking about how he aims to improve the players that they've already got at the club. He referenced his work at Porto and Valencia, where they didn't have necessarily great teams or great players, but he got them to perform above their potential. In particular, Valencia, he got them to their best points tally in their history. And of course, he got Rio Ave to two domestic cup finals during his time there as well. So perhaps we could be looking forward to something really, really positive. And I think it's important to support him and to give him the opportunity to get these players to work because obviously he's got a record. You don't get jobs in top clubs in Europe if you're not a good coach. The second piece of news I've got is uh, about striker Jordan Hughill from Preston North End. Now apparently he was a target under Paul Lambert and the Express and Star have said that Nuno has got plenty of irons in the fire so they're a bit unsure as to whether he's going to go for Hughill or somewhere else but he's certainly still on the radar. I don't personally think that he's the sort of striker we need. We need somebody who is going to bag us 20 odd goals a season. Definitely. We're still, British Sombolonga has still been touted as a possibility of coming in, but he looks, if he's going to go anywhere, it's going to be to Middlesbrough. I've had a couple of Nottingham Forest fans watching my channel and commenting and saying that Brit's not going anywhere and Jason Cummings has just come in for them to be back up to him. So, unclear as to what's happening in that respect. Uh, the Jed Wallace deal to Millwall is still being delayed. There's a technicality in his contract somewhere as, and he's on holiday at the moment, Jed Wallace. So that's not going to be sorted out until he's back in the country, which I assume is going to be next week. Uh, and that'll go through then once that has been ironed out. Another piece of news which I've been expecting for a few weeks or so is that George Mendes is being investigated as to his involvement in Falcao's tax evasion. Now there's been Cristiano Ronaldo has been in trouble, uh, Jose Mourinho has been in trouble, both clients of Mendes. So to me it's only been a matter of time as to when is George Mendes going to be um, investigated. I'm not sure of the, sev the severity of it but and also a little bit of bad news as well is that Fosun have made a massive loss over the last day or so. I'll read you the little clip which is taken from the Birmingham Mail. It says that the owners of Wolverhampton Wanderers are reported to being investigated by China's banking regulator over loans made to the company. The Wall Street Journal reports today that Fosun International are one of a clutch of companies to be investigated by China Banking Reg Regulatory Commission concerning loans connected to aggressive overseas investments. The paper quotes a source as saying the goal of the examination is to examine those companies' leverage situations and risks. The paper were unable to provide comment from the regulators. There is nothing to suggest any wrongdoing on behalf of the owners and they have seen their shares fall by 7.1% in the most recent bout of trading on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Now I don't know anything about business or finance or stock exchanges or anything but it doesn't sound particularly good news that they've been investigated about something there's no wrongdoing on behalf of the owner so hopefully that'll suggest that we might be okay uh, Sky Bet have released their odds for next season as well um, we are 14 to 1 to gain promotion which puts us alongside teams like Derby, Sunderland and Hull who you know you are quite good teams and it suggests that we'd probably be that the bookies are expecting us to be in and around the playoffs for this season. The favourites to go up, it says surprise favourites, uh, Middlesbrough under Gary Monk, of course, who we've got first game of the season. And one last tiny little bit of news. Uh, Jordan Graham this afternoon has tweeted that he was playing golf with Derby's Cyrus Christie. So could, he's a very good right back at uh, championship level. Played over 100 times for Derby. Uh, but I think, I don't think that that is a deal that's going to go through because of Phil Afosu Aye coming in earlier this week. So I don't imagine that, that there's any traction behind that. 
But anyway, interested to see what footballers do in their own time. Courtney Hawes and Dominic Iorfa won't be in training, of course, next week because of their involvement in the Under-21s European Championship, and that's ongoing. Uh, if you check out the FA's Twitter page, you will see Courtney Hawes scoring an absolute worldie in training. Left foot, top corner, amazing goal. So perhaps he could be our 20-goal-a-season striker. Thank you very much for watching today's video on the Old Gold and Black YouTube channel. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and why not share it to all your friends as well so that they can subscribe and let's start growing this audience so that we can hit the ground running when the season starts. Thank you very much again. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.